Hi guys, all right. Hope you, everyone had a great weekend and um, Matt and I watched a show this weekend and we're obsessed with it, but let's talk about it after we Ooh, answer teaser. some, yes, <laughs> after we answer some questions on, uh, we've had on DM, we've had so many questions, but one question that kept coming up is, what fits in a little buddy? Okay, and I understand this because the little buddy is the most perfect bag to take with you on vacation when you guys are off for um, the rest of the summer. So. I've been using the little buddy every time I go out to dinner. I love the size, it's so great. Or just for just running around town. So what fits in here is I have the largest size iPhone and we made sure with that- With a backpack. With a backpack. And um, so for sure that fits in there and then some. I have a pair of glasses and then still so much room. Okay, well why don't we put a chain in here? So just pretend. And then, you know what I put in here is usually, and I don't have all my stuff, but let's say your lipstick and you know what you could even get a wallet in here if you needed to it's just so much space and it's so roomy and even when you put all the stuff in here after you close it it's still like a good size it's not like so bulky where it's like this is weird i love a silver one I, i'm obsessed with silver and by the way the silver sling everybody has been waiting for it to come back it's back and i would definitely grab it if you've been waiting for one because they've been selling really quickly and I love coupling the, these guys with shoulder straps because I think there's something really fun about it. It's kind of like a little baguette and it's like fun, like you could carry it this way. And it's just, I just love it. I love this bag so much and it's just so great for going out. You know, if you have to run down into the store or if you have to walk your dog, this is the perfect bag. It just fits poo bags in here. It's great. So keep asking us questions. And then I know there's so many people who want me to answer, um, pair some, a lot of things there's pairings so i think we should do a pt tv with pairings right what yeah, do you let's think do that. so we'll do that this week okay today i want to talk about these guys these guys here are insane these are there's only a couple left and that's why i want to talk about it because i think these are going to go by the end of this week um these this is a collaboration we did with rachel hearn and these are all hand painted and i just and it's our love for modernist art and it was just such an amazing collaboration because we basically took a blank slate and I had these um, hand painted for us. Yep, a blank canvas. And then Rachel did her beautiful artwork on here and I just love it. I love the red with the pink and I've been carrying this one, which is the yellow with the blue. There's something so relaxing about it, right? I love it. And just pop on a white shirt with a pair of jeans and it's terrific. So that's what's going on here. And let's talk about the show we've been watching. So I came across this show. I think last night, yesterday, yeah, last night. and um, at first I started watching it and I was like, I, this can't be real, like this is insane. These two women, and it's called Capturing Home on HBO, Amy and Kate. So Amy, they, both of them have like impeccable style, like just their own personal style. So I was already like, whoa, these guys are so cool. But then they have the most beautiful way of designing that I really kind of really, for some reason, that's how my brain works and I really, really love it. So. Amy is a photographer and Kate is a stylist and a, uh, like a, someone who decorates homes. And so, but they both have incredible personal styles. So they work really, really beautifully together. So- And they were saying one of them is big picture, one of them is details. Yes, and then when they come together and Amy's a little bit more masculine and Kate's a little bit more feminine. But not, but like not in a girly, girly way, but just you know, a little softer. I think one Matt, from the Matt north, said it. One from the south. Right, <laughs> yeah. and Matt said it great. It was like. Their taste is so like, it's a com combination of modernist and a little shabby chic. And I think, but not, you know, fully either way, but there's like hints of it, but just combined Hybrid. together, yeah. it's a really powerful, beautiful thing. So I'm like, oh my God, all these, like they, and they, at first, the first season they were designing homes, you know, like they went in and it was really thoughtful the way they designed. They always take art from the kids and they really bring their, their people like their friends personalities into this like home. that episode like, where the little girl said i just want a ball oh yeah pit, yeah, yeah ball, a ball pit. pit and like you're like okay how are we gonna put a ball pit in this house but even the mom was like i thought you were just gonna ignore that <laughs> yeah but they came up with this insane like idea and i don't want to um to ruin it if you guys watch it but it was just like that's brilliant elegant. yeah it was just very it was very easy and elegance and i so jive with it and I so like jive with their philosophy in terms of taking techniques that are not meant for maybe the wall, but maybe for the floor, but then putting it on the wall or taking tiles that you're just like, mm, these are a little pedestrian, 
but maybe if we kind of put a white brush weird stroke on it then it looks really cool yeah, and then whitewash the terracotta yeah towels. yeah and then somehow then it brought out the colors like it was just just they they and then they design on a dime it's like when they get in there then it kind of and that's how i am like so that's where I, i'm like you know sometimes when i'm doing a bag we have this idea but then there is an accidental failure of some sort where i miscommunicate something but then it's like this great accident and like you know like this I, i'm gonna have to let me just say there's accidents all the time so when we did the little buddy i think this was supposed to be a little bit tinier this <laughs> little tab and I guess I miscommunicated and it came in this long. And I was like, at first I was like, oh, that's a little cool, but not what I asked for, but awesome. So it's like that, where it's just like these accidental things. And you're like, that's what makes this bag so cool is this giant tab. And I love it too. It's like, like this, when it's in my um, purse and I can't find it, I just pull it out. It's like, you know, like, oh, like a tail, like yeah. a Jack Russell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but these are all little accidental things that make something so much special and like you could see it and you're like whoa that's cool we should do that and i th i think that's sometimes what they do you know like it's just totally on the fly where they're like oh it's brilliant like there was a backyard where it was like this ugly cement thing on the back yes and then really you know like you would be like let's just take the whole thing out it's so ugly but then they're like let's take it and break it up and then make a path out of it and then it kind of felt like we were in montecito all of a sudden with the olive trees and it really just takes you into this other magical world. So anyways. I also um, like their philosophy of, because they're both moms and they raise families, right? So they know the oh, reality yeah. of it. And they're, they have this notion of, all right, well, the kids own the space during the day, but then the adults own it at night. <laughs> they have like really good yeah. solutions. Yeah. yeah. And then, or how do you break up the space so that the kids could be in their room and their stuff is there? You could still see them, but it's not in your space. Yeah. So it, it's just really, really thoughtful and just very well thought out and their taste is impeccable. So they're, they had another season. I didn't know this, it was just totally accidental when we came upon it, but I was like, whoa, they have a second season. So of course Matt and I binge watched the whole thing. Now I have to go back and study it because I really was inspired by it. There was a couple that I was like so inspired by. So anyways, it's just pretty brilliant. So if you guys are looking for a new show, I would highly recommend it. It's called Capturing Home. I think you guys would really like it. So that's what's going on here. What else, Matt? Yeah. That's it? I think so. All right, it's getting late, so um, we're it's hot today too. So we're going to have to go back in the other room, and we'll be back tomorrow. Bye, guys.